Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Buena mian. Bueno mañana. I don't know. Um, happy birthday, Jag. Before I forget, it's his birthday today. At least I remembered. <laughs> so today's plan, we're going to get a bus to Playa Paraiso first thing to look at the new Hard Rock Hotel because I've never actually seen that really close up. It's not that old. It's about two years old now, but I've never been to Playa Paraiso for a wonder about. So it's a small place. It'll only take an hour. Then I'm going to get the bus back to La Caleta and then walk back from La Caleta back to the apartment, which takes about two, three hours. Then hopefully back here for a bit of sun. And then into Los Cristianos tonight to look at the Christmas lights. That's the plan. Let's see what happens, folks. That was the new um, Volcano Hotel. It's, it's not new, it's been here for years, but it's just all been done up. It's been shut for about a year, but it's looking really nice. Very, very nice inside. It's like a big airport, but uh, yeah, lovely inside. So, just walking down to get the bus now. Quarter past ten, the bus is to apply a prize. There's a few people waiting. So, I've arrived in uh, Playa Paraiso. Now today, is, um, I didn't mention actually this morning, but I've got to do a little bit of work. Um, three hotel visits today. The first one there was the Volcano. I'm going to see a couple of the Bahia hotels down here, Bahia Principi and the Bahia Tenerife, I think it is. And then the Hard Rock Hotel um, as well. So it should just take an hour or so. But the um, yeah, disaster, my plans are scuffed already because the bus didn't stop in La Caleta. Just came straight here. So I'm gonna have to go back to, I think, Get the bus back to Las Americas and then change to go at Lacometa. Oh, the bag's just fallen off, hang on. So the Bahia hotels, they're both five-star properties and they do all inclusive and you always get some good prices here. But people always expect, you know, five-star luxury for nothing these days. So if these properties were right in the heart of uh, Las Americas, they'd be double the price. So they're out here, so they're a wee bit cheaper. So, let's keep walking down this hill. Right, we find ourselves on another dirt track. Now, so that's one of the Bahia hotels up the back there. And then this is the other Bahia hotel behind me. So I think this one here looks the nicest one. Um, I'm gonna try and get around the front way because I've come the wrong bit. I came out the back of that hotel into this bit of dirt ground. And the guy said to me, go and see beach, go and see beach. So I don't think the beach is down here, I think it's just a dirt track down to a rocky cove thing. But uh, yeah, that hotel there, that's the other Bahia hotel, which I think would be a nicer one to, to stay at. So another tip I forgot to tell you about when you're coming to Tenerife, if you do intend to go and walking, don't wear white trainers because of the volcanic ash and the sand and powdery stuff, your trainers get absolutely manket. I should know by now, but I packed white trainers this time. So those two tower blocks, that is the Hard Rock Hotel. Now it does um, look like something out of the... Hilltown Maltese, but I'm going to show you they are lovely when you get inside. I'll show you them just in a wee while. Now the history of the Hard Rock, this is a lot of work really getting stuff today. History of the Hard Rock, that used to be a, a three star, those two blocks used to be three star hotels and they were called the Playa Paraiso Hotels and they were cheap and nasty. Um, again it's one of these kind of holidays you used to get sent on. Remember there were things called square deals or sun deals where you didn't know where you were going to be staying. Well, these are the ones you always ended up in because people wanted to pay cheap prices. This is where they ended up. But, however, it's reversed now and they've been taken over by Hard Rock. 
I think it took them about two years to kind of refurbish them all and now it's, the rooms are absolutely stunning. Um, the marketer is like live like a rock star because that's what the rooms are like. I don't think I'm going to get into one of the rooms today but I'll try and film around, around the pool areas for you. And I think this week or maybe today um, they have bands on every night like rock bands. Apart from today <laughs> they've got Cool and the Gang. Celebrate good times. Come on. Them. They're on today. Well, not today, but maybe this week I think they're on. So, that's the history of the, the hard rock for you. So I'll go and check it out just shortly. Again, okay, I don't know if you can see down there, folks, but the Blue Lagoon is so clear. Right, I don't know if you can see from the slopes, but they've got a really comfortable uh, bean bag chairs to lie on. Looks so comfy. And these are some beds in the water. So I've just been told I can get this for um, 50 euros a night. So it might be worth kind of checking this out just for, for one night next time I come back. Looks awesome. A bit too posy for me though. A lot of posy people, but just experiencing their rooms in the comfy bean bags for one night would be awesome. So there's a lot more walking than I thought in Playa Playa. So it's actually a, a long, long kind of coastal path. It goes up and down, a lot of hills and things. So I'm still walking. That's what I'm saying. You just never know what uh, each day is going to bring. So my plans have totally changed because cause I'm walking so far at the minute. There's no need to get off and uh, walk all the way back from La Coleta. So we're still going folks along this cliff path. Not quite as windy today, the wind's died down a bit. So there's your typical black um, Tenerife beach, volcanic ash, or well, volcanic sand, but it's just like sand, folks, but it's just obviously black. Now, I don't know where this is, I think this might be Cala Salvaki maybe, I'm not sure. I'm gonna walk down, I think it's a big rock pool on the other side of that hotel, which just means more going downhill, round and along, but anyway, we've got all day, I suppose. I'm just conscious of not laying in the sun much, but let's go. Let's go to investigate what this little village has to offer. 